In a story you'll see only on five, the owner of a local pet store chain speaks out about allegations he is mistreating animals. News Channel 5's Angela Sacitano joins us now with more. Angela? That's right. The Palm Beach Puppies Pet Store chain has become very popular as the obsession with teacup puppies has grown in South Florida. But the anger by animal advocates is also growing, putting a spotlight on the pet store and where it buys its animals. Your conscience! Your fault! The protests are loud and emotional. Hot money! Your fault! Animal advocates claim the owner of Palm Beach Puppies is irresponsible for buying animals from out-of-state commercial breeders they call puppy mills. They have skin disorders, they have hip dysplasia, and now they're selling designer dogs. Those are just basically mutts. They buy these dogs for $50 to $100 from a puppy mill. I care passionately about all the puppies that are in our store. Ryan Garson and his family opened Palm Beach Puppies, now a franchise, six years ago. I spend hours upon hours dealing with my breeders communicating with my readers, talking to them. Garson says he's been completely taken by surprise by the controversy surrounding his business. Have you sold animals that have had, had leg problems, kidney problems, and other major issues? Can you say that you sold animals like that? Um, you know, it, it, these are live animals, so these things can happen. Um, but off the top of my head, I say that, no, we don't sell those kind of puppies because my vets check them out. Garson admits he works with literally hundreds of breeders from around the country. He says he learns about the animals mainly from email pictures and breeder websites. Garson says he does his best to keep up with the violations, but as long as the USDA continues to approve of the breeder, that is sufficient enough for him. Not the USDA, you know, that's, that's who licenses the breeders that I work with, and they're coming after you know, me saying I'm doing the bad thing, you know, all I can do is work with the proper breeders that I have. Palm Beach Puppy says they are making changes every day as they get better. One of the things they'd like to do is have profiles of the different breeders here in the store. We're going to be going um, throughout the country and going to majority of our breeders' homes and filming them and, um, you know, just kind of documenting it and giving that information to our customers. Well, the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, is the agency that monitors commercial breeding. They do this using what's known as the Animal Welfare Act. It's a set of minimum care standards. The agency tells me it makes unannounced visits to all breeders across this country at least once a year. Stay tuned to News Channel 5 as we explore this issue more. Angela Sacitano, WPTV News Channel 5.